Welcome to the Mantis Bible Study 4 video series. This video is going to cover uh, navigation and history, or how to move around the Bible quickly. Uh, the most obvious way to navigate is to uh, scroll the screen up and down. You just put your finger on the screen and drag up or drag down to go through the chapter. You can also flick the screen with your finger quickly to get through uh, quickly. Uh, so scrolling is the first way. Uh, if you want to get from chapter to chapter, a uh, simple way is just use these chapter forward and back buttons. Uh, there's a forward button, Genesis 2, Genesis 3, Genesis 4, and obviously the back button goes back a chapter at a time. Uh, you can also swipe pages. Now, uh, incidentally, you can use full screen mode. If you double tap the screen, we get into full screen mode, so you don't have any of the indicators up at the top. You can still go from chapter to chapter by holding your finger down and dragging the page to the side. It's uh, designed to work like uh, uh, flipping pages in a book. Uh, if you want to go backwards, just flip the other direction like you're flipping a page back. and. Uh, That'll take you from chapter to chapter. I'm going to go ahead and uh, double click again to go back to the, the regular non full screen mode and uh, show you the book chooser. If you tap on the book name up at the top of the page, it brings you into the book chooser. There's two modes for the book chooser there's a list mode and there's grid mode. I'm going to show you grid mode first. It's a, a faster way to get around because there's less scrolling. This shows all 66 books of the Bible. So if I wanted to jump to, say, Romans 5.8, I'd tap on Romans chapter 5, verse 8, and we're there. Let's go back to Genesis 1.1. 1, 1. So I'll click Romans, Genesis 1.1. 1, 1. The other mode is uh, called list mode. And uh, let's go back and toggle to that mode here. I'll tap on Genesis and tap to the list mode. Uh, the list mode is interesting because it shows you the chapter headers or any headers uh, in verse 1 of the chapter will show up here. So if I'm looking for uh, Abram, let's say, I can see that uh, the obedience of Abram starts in Genesis chapter 12. And then I'm looking specifically for uh, the next heading, which is uh, uh, the promised blessing. Uh, jeopardized here, Genesis 12.10. So uh, there's an advantage going both ways. Uh, you can use uh, either one and you can switch at any time. Uh, one of the main reasons to use the grid mode is when you get to Psalms, it has 150 chapters. You don't necessarily want to scroll all the way down to uh, Psalm 150. So I'm going to switch here. and I'm going to also show you here uh, not all 150 uh, uh, chapters fit on one page, so all you have to do is drag this up a little bit, and you can get to pretty much anywhere uh, in the book of Psalms pretty quickly. Now let's say you're in the book of Psalms and you want to go to another chapter, but you don't want to have to necessarily choose the book of Psalms again, because you're going to stay on Psalms for a while. Just uh, ch click on the chapter chooser, and it'll tell it, take you directly to the list of chapters in Psalms. I'm going to show you here Psalm 119 has 176 verses, and we can get to that 176th verse pretty quickly here. Let's go back to uh, Genesis 1.1 and continue uh, continue with uh, navigation with uh, scrollers. Um, scrollers are designed uh, to get you quickly to any volume, book, chapter, or verse. Now a volume is uh, right here, we're in the King James uh, version of the Bible, that's a volume. Any other version of the Bible is a volume. Um, dictionaries would be volumes, and uh, commentaries would be volumes. So let's say I wanted to look up uh, Genesis 2-7 in the ESV. Uh, if you uh, hold your finger down in the lower right corner, uh, and this is just a guide uh, to show you that you can actually click anywhere in this, uh, this general area. Click and hold your finger down until the scroller appears, and then scroll up, uh, or uh, with your finger until you get to the ESV volume, then release your finger and you'll notice that we've switched to the ESV volume. The lower left corner is the uh, uh, book chooser. Same thing, just hold your finger down and drag up. I'm going to drag all the way up to Genesis here. Well, we're already in Genesis, but you can quickly select any book of the Bible. Uh, incidentally, let's say you start to uh, 
choose a, a book by mistake, you realize you really didn't want to do that. If you drag your finger off of the scroller and release, it will cancel the operation. So we're already in Genesis. Now the upper left scroller, uh, you tap and hold and drag down, and that becomes a chapter chooser. So I'm going to choose chapter 2. And the upper right becomes the verse chooser. And so I'm going to jump down to verse 7. I'm going to hold and drag down to verse 7, release. There we go. Okay, so one more time. Uh, hold and drag up in the lower right corner. Selects a volume. We'll go back to the King James. Release. Uh, tap and hold in the lower left to choose a book. Let's go to uh, John here. And upper left, tap and hold and drag down, chapter 3. And tap and hold in the upper right, drag down until you get to the verse you want. Basically, you can get anywhere in the Bible within, uh, within uh, a few seconds here. So those are the scrollers. Uh, one other way to navigate through the Bible is this history button in the lower right corner. The history shows you everywhere we've been. Uh, there's, those are all the verses that we looked at. And all you have to do is uh, select a verse you want to go back to and tap it. This is really very uh, handy when you're in a Bible study or in a sermon where uh, we're jumping from verse to verse and then we want to go back to the main study section. Uh, you could get to the last uh, 50 or so places very quickly in the list. Now, There's two modes in history. Local is uh, limited to just Bibles. If you go to global, it'll show you the, the actual volume where you were in. That's when we were back over in the ESV volume. But it'll also show, show you, I looked up uh, the word eagle in the uh, uh, International Standard Bible Encyclopedia. And then I was in Easton's Bible Dictionary looking up the word alpha. And so you can basically jump to a, a specific volume and place uh, instantly with a single click. If I want to go back to Genesis 2.1 in the ESV, I can tap it. And there we go, right back to where we were. This has been uh, Navigation and History for Mantis Bible Study 4. Thanks.